Hello and welcome to the Inventory Pro Upgrade Guide for version 2.2. Um, so let's just get started. Uh, first off, because the update is quite big and a lot of things have changed, um, it's easiest to create a new project. Just a new empty project. And in this new project we're going to uh, import the new update. And then we're going to uh, to copy it back to our old project to avoid anything being uh, overwritten that we already created. So uh, in our new empty project, I'm just going to import the, uh, the new version of Inventory Pro. Alright, so once you're done importing, we're going to go into our Explorer or Finder in Mac. We're just going to copy the um, inventory system folder. We're going to go back to our original project. Throw away the inventory system folder here. There we go. Paste in a new one. And now open up our old project again. Alright, so once your project is done importing, um, we can open back our old scene. And because a few things have changed, uh, I've added a setup wizard, which allows us to check for, uh, for any problems in faulty configurations. So, first thing, um, a couple of new managers have come up, so if you just click the fix button, it'll automatically add new managers to our managers object. Um, we're missing a language database, it actually moved, so we can just select the manager's object and then inside of our inventory manager we have a couple of references here. So a couple of things changed, they moved from the settings here, so uh, we might have to relink them. So check for any empty ones and uh, relink them. Okay, so we've relinked those, let's rescan. Um, no character list we found, select, so uh, we've got an empty component here. So previously we had the object trigger handler, which uh, handled all the item pickups, but it moved to a manager, so this entire object is no longer needed, so I can just get rid of that. And we still missed one on the camera because it namespaced somewhere else, so we have to relink that, and that should do the trick. Okay, so we have two players that um, are missing a uh, inventories. So if we click our third-person controller and we look here at the bottom, just there we go. Um, we're actually missing some references to our character collection and such. So let's just add those in. We have reference to our inventories. And then we're skill bar. All right, so these are still linked up, so that's fine. Okay, so we still get one um, warning that's for our prefab. It also checks all your prefabs. Um, but because we can't link those to our prefabs, we can just ignore this one. All right, um, there's one more thing we actually have to do. If we go to Edit, Project Settings, Input, and check our axes. Um, and let me just grab the... Dialog. Okay, so we have four controller support. We have a plus and minus axis, which allows us to um, use the uh, controller to define how many items we want in an uh, item selector. Um, and for that, we need to set up the uh, axis, D pad, horizontal. So if we go to edit, project settings, input and we add an extra one give it this name and we can choose which axes we want to use so for example um, I want to use the sixth axis which is left and right on the d-pad but if you like you can also use the eighth axis or the fourth or whichever you kind of like uh, I'm going to use the sixth though so at the bottom I'm going to say joystick this is going to be the sixth axis 
and we want to grab one all. So that should actually do it. We don't need that. All right, that should about do it. Yep. Let's see if it works. All right, so no war warnings, no errors. Can pick up items. Can equip them. And they equip to your character as well. So that's about it.